All right, thank you for staying with us. This is NTV Tonight. Now, the next shipment of children routine vaccines is expected to arrive in the country by the first week of June. This is according to the Ministry of Health. Kenya has experienced a countrywide stockout of the vaccines and antigens, which have seen at least 1.6 million infants and pregnant women miss out on critical vaccines, despite the Ministry of Health defaulting on a 2 billion shilling debt to the global supplier. The government now says it has set aside 250 million shillings to urgently procure the vaccines and routine antigens. Helen Aura has that story. The long queues at the Baringo Referral Hospital are a clear indication that all is not well. Parents who have brought in their children for routine immunization have been left shocked. <laughs> Two months in and the ongoing shortage has sparked a countrywide fear over the spike in various ailments as newborns miss out on critical vaccines. Polio has been a problem. It has been a disease that affects children, especially from age of zero to about 14 years. So running out of that vaccine actually poses a threat to the health of children, you know, paralysis. Kenya has not procured the diphtheria, tetanus and pertussis vaccine for 10 months, with public hospital reporting shortages. The BCG vaccine given at birth to prevent tuberculosis has not been procured for eight months now. We as a Council of Governors are appealing to the relevant department, particularly in the National Vaccines Institutes, to be able to produce and, pro and, and distribute the vaccines in good time. After the government missed out on a year-long supply defaulting a two billion debt to a global supplier, it now says it is ready to bite the bullet. Through a press release, the Ministry of Health has indicated, and I quote, the Ministry of Health has set aside 250 million Kenya shillings to urgently procure routine antigens and replenish the life-saving vaccines in our health facilities. Despite the logistical challenges from the current heavy rains, the ministry and its partners are first tracking the shipment of the vaccines which are expected to arrive in the country by the first week of June 2024. The anxiety levels among the new mothers remains at an all-time high, hoping that their children will be safe. Helen Aura, NTV.